Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog, another Halloween vlog on the John Brandt Vlogs channel. There's a tour ready right now. That is not my tour because I'm not taking one today. But I wanted to show what the Winchester Mystery House is doing for Halloween because they've kind of changed it up every year. They've done like haunted mazes. This year they're doing more of a kind of like game theme and then they do a projection show onto the house itself. Ooh, that was a good crow ambiance for the scariness. So anyway, we'll just walk around, see what they have, go past this uh, Jungle Cruise sounding music they have in the front yard and uh, see what they have for Halloween. And this tree looks kind of scary and maybe like it does something. It's on roller wheels next to a fake graveyard with uh, no name tombstones except that one right there. Then I think over there houses, get it? Houses the projector. I think to actually project onto the Winchester Mystery House. And they've even added white to the windows for the projection show. Because they don't usually always look like that. The spider web windows definitely work very well for the Halloween season. So, Sarah Winchester putting them there, you know, it does work for October. And then here's the front door set up. Pretty nice. Those windows are always very impressive on the front doors. Probably worth a pretty penny, just a guess. And then they have over here, it says trick or treat. So, maybe if you're brave enough as a trick or treater, you can actually knock on this door. But my assumption is no. And then they even have these pictures from people who were on the estate back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. This looks like the foreman's children with a Winchester baby and the head gardener. They actually did a pretty good job with this porch display. Kind of reminds me of Disneyland a little bit, even in this flower box next to another expensive window. I think this is a Tiffany glass window, if I recall. All of these are. All right, so I think there's actually more kind of in the back of the house. So we'll walk that way and see what else they have towards the back. And then even more spiderweb windows here next to what I think is her bedroom, which is over here, the bedroom that she actually died in, near this really weird music. And they actually project a light show onto the Winchester Mystery House, which I have not seen, and which you won't be able to see this morning, but it's on the front of the house. They have a Halloween light show. Maybe one day I'll get a recording of that. And this carriage is pretty creepy on its own too. <laughs> Sometimes you don't actually need much to make things creepy. Just have them be old. <laughs> and they look like something you don't want to be near. And these don't look like they'd be very comfortable to go really any distance. It looks like you couldn't bring much, either. Not much could fit in the back. And here is the entrance to sort of like their carnival area as part of the unhinged event. And they've got this enter if you dare sign and some carnival games and a lot of green skulls, it looks like. This area is actually closed off during the day, but it's part of the unhinged event that they have here this year. And uh, 
Just another coffin they have on display. And uh, it looks like this bunting they put up, that just kind of reminded me of Disneyland also. Oh, and a horse. A skeleton horse. Better say, hey, nay. I don't know. That's the best I can do. Oh, and they also have added axe throwing also, uh, which I am not going to be trying today. <laughs> and then they have all these pumpkins here. And it looks like the jumbo pumpkin guy. It's pretty scary. I have wondered what the inside of the foreman's house looks like. Because it looks like they don't need to really do much to make this scary. It's already kind of there. They did add a pumpkin to the porch. And it looks like you can kind of go up to the foreman's house. And like I said, it's with this music and everything, pretty it's pretty creepy on its own. <laughs> Didn't look like he had much of a yard. Unless things have been consolidated. And it's hard to tell what's actually in the house. Because I'm too short. This is one of many times where being short has its disadvantages. Many, many times. <laughs> and they have a gingerbread creation of the house. And the gift shop. That's pretty cool. Pretty detailed gingerbread house. A giant spider in the front. This room's actually pretty well done overall. Even in the daytime, it looks decently creepy with these curtains. I actually kind of want these curtains for my haunted house. <laughs> Here is the front of the house as a gingerbread house. Again, pretty impressive, pretty well done. Definitely could not make something like this personally, <laughs> but not turn out this way. I have enough trouble with the um, gingerbread kits. I can only imagine what this person did to actually get all of that done. Amazing. They even did a uh, version of the ballroom in the house with a crystal ball in the middle. And it looks a lot like it, like the actual thing. And even the table that they have the gingerbread house on looks a lot like something you'd see at the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. So pretty cool that they that they did this. This looks pretty creepy as well. Looks a little too real. And the spider with some of the fan blowing on it actually looks kind of real here. Maybe it is. No, luckily it's not. Alright, and I actually have a quarter to try this haunted churchyard thing. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy popping up behind a tombstone too. Ooh, and that devil. <laughs> I think that's about the extent of this. <laughs> Definitely worth the 25 cents. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of this vlog the tour of what the Winchester Mystery House has set up for Halloween 2019. As I said, if I happen to make it to the unhinged show, I'll be sure to put that in another video. And I will talk to you next time. Adios.